My name is Eric with New Wire Marine and we're going to be looking at the basic features today of our ePanel Builder, our online marine switch panel building tool. First thing I want to point out is the steps at the top are the five steps from start to completion of building your ePanel. Now to progress forward you'll need to use the next step button and, and, and complete the required fields. But remember at any time you can come back to any of these other steps by just clicking on the navigational views above. So let's start by defining a size of the panel. For starters we're just going to do an example that's 16 inches wide, let's say 8 inches high. We're going to do two rows. Now once you've completed these required fields the, the, the switch panel and size appears and we can click next step. You can also see the row boxes where we're, we're going to add components to the various rows. For this demonstration I'll just pick brush silver. Now remember you can come back and, and play with that material and get a simulation after we've added the components. Now I click next step one more time and now this is when you start adding parts and pieces to your switch panel. So you can see that there's a nested left navigation menu where you can view the various components able to add. So for now I'm going to add some rocker switches. So we'll just put a couple examples in here. Accessory 1, 2, put a bilge pump, put a GPS switch, freshwater pump, a red horn, and navigation lights. Okay. So as you've clicked there, they've appeared to the switch. They've appeared on the switch panel here. And once you've got had them added, you can drag and drop them to the placement to the place that you prefer. Now you can see the second row here is still blank. So we can take a component and bring it down and add it to the left of that arrow, and it at and it. Cr creates the second row. Now these rows are dynamic meaning that they'll adjust in size according to the components that are within it. So I'm just going to move all our switches down here for the time being. And now this row has gone blank. Now we want to add some gauge holes at the top for this example. So I'll go uh, navigate to holes, round holes, and we need two two and an eighth holes for let's say a you know a voltmeter and uh, a fuel gauge or something and then we've got a speedo and a tack so we'll put those as three and three eighths inch holes so now you can really see how the dynamic rows have changed that row height to accommodate these larger components you can also adjust the space between the rows here so this panel looks pretty good but if you if you had more space at the top or bottom we you might want to adjust this say to 0.75 click enter and it'll add space between the rows now across the top we have a toolbar with various tools that you can use. We really recommend the distribute tool which evenly spaces out the components so they don't look all crammed to one side of the, of the um, switch panel. So whenever you click distribute it, it distributes the components out amongst the rows. You can also on a larger panel you can click zoom and see a mouse over zoom of each product so you can read the switch labels. You can also hit the delete button and delete a component. And you can also turn on dimensions so you can see measurements of where each component starts and ends. So for now, and another thing to note is that you cannot drag components while distribute is on. So, so hit distribute to take a look at your objects and then undistribute to modify them. And for, you know, just for Example, let's, um, let's add a 12 volt plug, we'll add a USB charger, and a couple more rocker switches. Let's do the Tiki Man and a wash down. Okay, so this obviously isn't the arrangement we want, so we'll move them over here to where we would like. All right, distribute, see how it looks. Pretty nice looking panel. The one thing I will do want to demonstrate here though is that you can add blank spaces. Let's say if you were going to cut in at your own you know, ignition or some, something over here and wanted to leave this space blank, you could just add a two inch space. Now you see the panel's not wide enough to accept another two inch space so I'll add a one inch. Alright, it added up here so let's see if I can drag it down. I can and now if we redistribute again all the switches are placed over to the left and you're going to have at least a, a three inch space one plus two over on the right. 
Now we'll move on to the next step, step four. You've got a number of form inputs. You can select your wiring, deck, the type of wiring you want, fully wired, jumpers only, no wiring. Then we've got some additions. We can add heat shrink, we can add gaskets, and you'll notice the price up here, it's giving you a live updated price for the overall project. Move on to the next step, and you get a chance to review your, your panel. You can fly out here. Make sure it's just the way you want it. Now you can't modify it here. If you want to modify it, you got to go back to components, turn off distribute, <laughs> and then move the component around. And just for demonstration, I'll go back and let's change the color to matte black. There, you can simulate the panel in matte black and try it in white. Try it in brush black. But we like brush silver for this one, so we'll continue with that. Back to components, back to options, and now to order, fly out the menu. Now if you're first coming to the website and you haven't logged in yet, then the only two options you're going to get is log in and start over. So we're going to log in and we'll need you to create a username on our website so we've got something to save the panel against in the database. So we don't have an account yet, so we'll sign up. Okay. Username will be demo demo email demo demo at newwiremarine.com demo new wire and then we'll create a password okay so now we're back to our ePanel builder we are logged in now so we can save it for later or save it and add it to a, to a cart so just for example purposes I'm purposes I'm going to save for later panel number one save it okay so now that we have the save panel we've got a couple more options here we can view our saved panels and you can see it's panel number one you can load it or you can go back you can clone the design which starts a new design maintaining the panel number one design and then you can modify it from there or if you're ready to go you can add it to the cart and the e-panel panel number one is now in your cart uh, one also important and sometimes confusing thing to note is once you've added it to your cart then it does restrict you from modifying the panel anymore so see I, I can't I can't go back into any of these other steps because it's in the in the cart and we don't want to add confusion about which panel you're, you're you're purchasing here so if you do need to modify it, you can go back to the cart and remove it um, or you can open it up and start start a new design you click start over and it goes back to screen one now you didn't lose that other panel you know theoretically we've got panel number one in the cart and we start creating panel number two and can also add it to the cart. Thanks for watching. That's all we've got for you today. Let us know if you have any questions and check out our other videos.